Okay, hi everybody. What I say about this is that families can be dysfunctional in all kinds of different ways. And, and what I recognized was that most, most ways that families can be dysfunctional, you can recover from. You can be fine afterwards. And this includes addictions, this includes, you know, breaking the law, making mistakes, getting arrested. Um, it, it involves um, coming out of the closet. It involves, you know, whatever. You can do all kinds of things. All kinds of things. If your intentions are good and if you love your kids, if there's love and there's empathy and there's compassion there. But you have a family where everything looks perfect. I mean, we didn't even have any divorces in my family. There was, you know, prior to me, there was no divorces. There was nobody who ever got arrested. There was nobody who ever did anything. There was not even, a, not even affairs. There was nothing. Everything was squeaky, squeaky clean. But the worst part was they didn't love. They didn't, they, it was all fake. It was all fake. And when I did go to jail and I was surrounded by all these people with, you know, all the bad families, quote unquote bad families, it didn't take very long before everyone in the place had identified my family as being the very worst, as I was being, as I was the most alone. Out of all the people there that had grown up in foster care and abusive situations and had a, had a crazy, crazy history, um, you know, I was the most alone. And, and the reason for that was, is you could just, it was just the absolute lack of love, lack of empathy, lack of compassion, lack of kindness. And this was evident in the counseling session. My, my, my mother and my brother were in a counseling program for families. And they, the counselor, the leader of the counselor said, you know, she, your, your mother just doesn't get it. She's just mostly concerned with making sure everyone understands that you were the one to blame and that you should be punished. And, um, you know, they're just so hostile. And that hostility has lasted. It has lasted all this time. And it seems to just keep ratcheting up. It just keeps ratcheting up. And so this is what they created. I stay away because why would I what you know what the only thing that I would get from being around them would be abused and it would also give them ammunition to then use against me to do you know out of out of context and you know there's just, there'd be no reason at all for me to um, to want to be near them without without some sign that they acknowledge what's going on and that they would change and that's never gonna happen they don't see they don't even see the reason why it should. They don't see what they've lost. They have had an enormous loss and they don't even see it. They can't even appreciate what they had. And what feels like an enormous loss to me really wasn't a big loss at all. All I lost was these people who don't, who abuse me and don't know how to love me. and don't care about me, don't know me, don't even see me. So, you know, I, I don't know why, I mean, I was, I was a gift, I was a blessing for any family to have as a daughter or a sister or, and, and I don't know why it had to, I had to be, you know, given to a family that couldn't appreciate me, but, uh, I, I have a feeling that it has a lot to do with my purpose for being here and that and that we're gonna find out now as I go on to create something out of this whole big mess. I go on to make it make something creative and beautiful come from it. I think we're gonna figure out exactly why it had to happen the way that it did. But okay, so that's that's that. So families can be dysfunctional in all kinds of ways and as long as the intention is pure, it's it's recoverable. But when when there is no love and no empathy, that's not recoverable, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how good things look. If, if there's nothing real there, it's it's hopeless. You know, it, if, you know that's that that was a figment a figment of of my imagination. It was just an illusion because 
I thought that I had. I I thought they cared about having a, a about being a loving family, and the critical difference was this. Listen carefully. They did not care about being a loving family. They cared about looking like one. 